like I got on a damn space suit. Space program guap in the building. You feel me? But I ain't gonna lie, it's hard though. You can't even lie, don't wanna lie. <laughs> Evan Clean, you feel me? When the last time you seen somebody down? Huh? What's up, Guap Nation? It's your boy Guapo taking in here, and today I have a banger for y'all. Basically, a follow-up video to a previous video that I did. Now, judging by the title, y'all already know what this video is. But if you didn't read the title for whatever reason, I don't know how you clicked on the video without reading the title. But either way, I'm pretty sure you did. But we're gonna be talking about is StockX or GOAT better for buying sneakers? In the last video, I didn't answer all the topics that I should have pertaining to this topic. So this video is to answer all those questions that I got in the comments that I didn't answer in the last video. So just putting that out there to y'all, you know, sit back, get a snack, do what you gotta do. But let me fill y'all in on a couple things that I missed on that video. If you actually didn't see that video and you wanna go watch that for reference, I'll have an icon up here somewhere so that you know, you can go check it out and then be hip to what we talking about in this video. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media. I'll have it up here manually and links will be in the description, but let's get into it. All right, so judging off the comments and all the interaction, everything that y'all said on the last video, everybody pretty much agreed that GOAT is better for buying sneakers over StockX. But it's a couple things that I missed out. And also, this is no knock or no diss to GOAT or StockX. This is just personal experiences and all really just opinions. Don't be coming from the neck. Don't be sending me no emails. Don't, don't do that. I ain't doing that over here. I'm just stating opinions. So don't come for me. But here's one thing that I do want to tell y'all when it comes to shopping with either or. When it comes to StockX, they have the cheaper price shoes, but they're more liable to mess up on your order or send you something that may be a little off. You know what I mean? I'm not going to really get into that, but things may be a little off with your pair or you may not get everything that the shoe comes with. But... You get what you pay for, the prices are cheaper. You shop at GOAT, prices are a little higher, but for the most part, you're gonna get what you pay for, everything that comes with the shoe, OG, everything. So I just had to throw that out there because it really all depends on your pockets and what you wanna do, depending on which app you wanna use to buy shoes from, because you could very well get the cheaper price off StockX for whatever shoe you're buying, but also get good service. Everything from the transaction to the processing to the authentication to them shipping it to you is on point and you just got a good experience, but a lot of people don't have good experiences on StockX, which is why, like I said in the past video, everybody pretty much agreed with GOAT. And if you have any experiences that you wanna share from either or, comment it down below. Now moving forward, when it comes to buying these high price resale sneakers, for example, some Union 4s or really any pair of Travis Scott's, I would suggest that y'all get them off GOAT. I don't care if, let's say for example, a pair of Travis Scott's was going for 1500 on GOAT, but they're going for 1200 on StockX, let's just say. Go with gold, bro. Save yourself the hassle because you gotta think, you're paying a large amount of money. Would you really wanna put that much money in the hands of a site that may not have the best reputation compared to another site that does the same thing, but they just have a pretty much a better reputation? Like, you gotta think logically when it comes to spending that big amount of money. So when it comes to buying these high price resale shoes, go with gold. But, like I said, if you want a penny pinch, take your chances on StockX. You never know, you really never know. So, like I said, this, this is gonna sound like a diss, but it's not, it's just, I'm just speaking facts. Now, I saw this comment in the last video and I wanted to also address this as well. When it comes to you getting everything that you pay for, let's say you get a shoe that comes with three extra laces or a shoe that comes with a hand tag and some extra whatever that they wanna put in the shoe in the OG, basically, how the shoe is supposed to come out when it releases in stores and all that. When it comes to that, I would also suggest buying from GOAT because nine times out of 10, you're gonna get what you pay for, everything that comes with the shoe. It's been a couple times that I bought shoes off StockX and they were supposed to come with something. And you know, I'm just like, thought this came with this, but it obviously don't come with this from this site. But I would definitely say when it comes to, if you wanna get everything that you're paying for, everything that comes with the shoe and the originality that it's supposed to be, go with go. Another thing I wanted to address that was a comment in the last video is tracking when it comes to both Go and StockX. And what they asked was, do they send you tracking when you first buy the shoe and the person that has the shoe, basically the seller has to send it to the facility? Both companies lacking that. They do not send you tracking. At least I know from my knowledge from the last purchases that I made off both Go and StockX. They don't see you tracking when they're sending the shoe to the facility. I don't know why. I'm not 
a part of that companies. I don't know what goes on. I don't know why they don't send it to you. But as far as it getting there, it'll just say like en route to facility or en route, basically, whatever it's gonna say. So no, they do not give you tracking. But after they authenticate it, they send you tracking just to let you know. I just had to address that as well. But yeah, I'm not gonna talk forever. I just wanted to bring y'all a quick little bang. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to address a couple questions that I saw in the last video. And just let y'all know, just bring up a follow-up video because I've been getting a lot of questions and I was like, I'd rather just make a video about it than just answer every comment about this and that. So hopefully this answers your question. If you have more questions, comment it down below. Feel free to answer it. If you know anything that I don't know or that I missed out on, comment it down below. Help me out. I don't know everything. I'm not perfect. But I appreciate you for tuning in, Guap Nation. We're going big and strong each and every day. And... I'm just appreciative of y'all, man. You know, we grow up, we, we at 16K now. This is amazing. So I appreciate y'all. I wouldn't be where I am without y'all. And I just appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. That's all I really got to say. Until next time, Guap Nation fam, y'all hold it down, and we out of here.